And this is a moth I actually like to go looking for in late uh, summer and it feeds on fruit as you can see it's on blackberries. It gets very common, there can be hundreds and hundreds of them around in one garden and it's the herald moth. It's called a herald because normally in springtime it's one of the first moths to appear. Although for some reason in this garden I never see it in the springtime. But uh, it's usually the herald of the spring. In fact I think at one point it was called the herald of the spring. And so it would be the first. It would show people that spring was about to start. It's a really beautiful moth. It's medium size. It's not gigantic. Uh, but it's just a lovely, lovely moth. And um, you can see it, it loves to feed on fruit. It has a, a bill that can pierce fruit. It actually has a relative that lives in India which uh, has a bill which ins uh, instead of fruit piercing it actually can pierce skin and drink blood. Uh, but this, this beautiful one just drinks uh, fruit juices and there, you can see hundreds of them sometimes on fruit trees. Uh, and they love, uh, they love to see black, they love blackberries and I don't think anybody will begrudge them eating blackberries. But here it is on a, a night in late summer and feeding away on a blackberries, beautiful blackberries. And I haven't got my own camera because I'm after accidentally dropping it into a bowl of water. So instead I have my trusty cameraman filming me. And it's a good night to go out and look around for these things. And that, you can actually see the lovely shiny eye of the Herald Moth. The eye is very shiny when you have a light cast on it, but even it doesn't even need to be, it can be just house lights or anything. Lovely, be beautiful creature. Keep an eye out for them. This beautiful caterpillar, which is being uh, stalked perhaps by this spider, <laughs> is a looper moth caterpillar. You can see it forms a loop. And this one is the scalloped oak caterpillar. And they look like little bits of stick. The head is here, the front legs are there. There's little suckers like all caterpillars have on the back legs. And they look like stick and they're called inchworms also because they move that way, they loop. And like the, the head comes down first and the tail gets pulled after it. It's really lovely, but a uh, lovely caterpillar, expert at camouflage. But you can't see that it's best here. Because it, although it does look like a little bit of a stick or something wrong with the ivy leaf it's on, it's only when you see it on top of uh, timber or a little bit of wood that it really looks good. Because it, it looks like a stick and if it's, they can stand on end like that and they just look like a little twig or a bit of broken branch. Now there's another caterpillar here and it's not an inchworm. It's a more traditional kind. You can see the suckers are more towards the middle. That's the rear end with, and here's the head. And it's actually got itself camouflaged by holding onto the contours of the leaf it's eating. So it's actually eating that shape out of the ivy leaf. And uh, this is the dot moth caterpillar. And the dot moth caterpillar has lots of little white dots along the side. Very handsome. They're almost like windows on a bus or an airplane. But uh, what's really interesting is that uh, the, the moth itself uh, gives it the name because it has a white dot on each wing. It's a kind of a nutty brown colour, uh, but it has a, a white dot on each wing. And just because of that simple thing, it's called a dot moth. Uh, but they are beautiful. Keep an eye out for them. The caterpillars feed on many different things, but they're not considered a pest species. And the same here with um, the scalloped oak. Very common moth. Uh, more common probably than the dot moth. And a brilliantly camouflaged caterpillar, but also never in such numbers that you consider it a pest or anything like that. They are beautiful creatures though. So uh, keep an eye out for them on the hedgerows. Ivy is a great place to look for different wildlife. One. And this is also slightly smaller. Let's see if I can get my light onto him. And you can see he's standing more tall. Well he looks like a twig. If, you, if we look around to the side here more you can actually see it really looks like a twig. And that's the caterpillar. That's the rear end which is the anchor. And the head is here. And you see it's standing on end so it actually looks like it's a bit of stick. Except if I touch it, it moves. <laughs> it tries to get out of the way. So keep an eye out for these wonderful things. They're, they really are amazing. And you'll find them in hedgerows, uh, especially now in late summer. 
and you'll also find them a little bit into autumn before it gets really cold. And uh, of course there are caterpillars you can find all year round. So uh, ivy is one of the best places to look for wildlife of any kind. And uh, here it is on an elder. And the elder is one of the best trees for supporting wildlife and ivy. Don't forget to like and subscribe.